How you doing, guys? Uh, we're going to talk a little bit uh, on some Linux news, um, Linux gaming in particular, and uh, especially with id Software, um, which of course historically has been uh, a big supporter of Linux platform by um, having na uh, native clients uh, to run the games natively within Linux. Uh, there's been several titles, uh, Doom 3, Enemy Territory, Quake Wars, for instance. And um, now, of course, with um, Unreal Tournament 2004, they did have a native Linux installer. Uh, now, pretty much, you have to just download the uh, client and then transfer all your gaming files from a Windows disk. Uh, but at least they're, they're still supported in some way. Now, it appears they pretty much dropped support on all this. And uh, some games who were supposedly going to have a Linux client were dropped as well. And uh, it has to do with um, John John Carmack, which is the one of the co-founders for id Software, saying um, uh, that um, that it's not very uh, commercially uh, successful uh, selling these games to Linux, um, you know, users. Uh, I kind of disagree because all they're really doing anyway is just uh, developing the. Uh, Linux client themselves and then pretty much the user has to transfer everything off manually so it's not like they're making a uh, complete software title just for Linux or porting it over and he's also even promoting wine is a big alternative to this and uh, wine I'm very unpopular with simply because even if you can get the game to work uh, 100% it's still not going to be as fast as a native client because you're going to be sharing resources uh, with an additional software layer on top to get this Windows game to work not very popular on this now uh, there's actually another software gaming giant um, with Valve software of course Gabe Newell he's taking the opposite approach um, even coming out with a um, open source uh, gaming box uh, for television sets uh, something with the likes of PS3 uh, 3 or maybe um, Xbox 360 and he's even saying that Mac is the next uh, going to be the next biggest gaming uh, console platform uh, of course that's going to be a little bit hard to see uh, unless they Apple really ups the game uh, of course, if you look at, at its mobile gaming, uh, Apple's mobile gaming is really big. It's probably the biggest. In fact, its gaming center has more members than Xbox Live. Uh, of course, this is an older news report. It could change since then. So I don't think we need to really discount Linux, in fact, uh, and or Mac on the gaming platform because I think if it uh, goes unchecked, it may actually start uh, catching up on Microsoft quite quickly. So give me your thoughts on that. 